All right, I'm going to demystify the recolor tool in Procreate because this is truly my favorite thing that Procreate does and without it, I would not have a workflow. I don't think it would be, it would look very different. And I know that there's been a lot of confusion, hesitation, resistance, and also missing it because back in the day it was a lot more accessible and now it's a little bit hidden. So all of those things squashed right now. I also have a massive free download for you. So I'll share that in a minute. So this is a little bit of a hidden feature. But what you're gonna wanna do is enable quick menu. And so the way that I have it set up is all I have to do is tap this um, little square in between the two sliders. If you wanna change the way that quick menu comes up for you, you can do that by going to the wrench icon, going to preferences here, and then going to gesture controls. You'll see quick menu right here. And this is how I have it toggled on. So once quick menu is invoked, you're going to see all of these options. All that I need to do is tap and hold one of those options and I can change what control that gives me. You will find recolor right here. So that's how to find it. The simplest way to do this is to have a flat color on a layer, but I wanted to overcomplicate things to show you an if this happens to you. So I have multiple colors going on on this layer. I have multiple colors going on on this layer. And so it's going to be trickier to recolor. I did this on purpose. So this is going to help you as well if you run into this problem. If you have a flat color, it's gonna be way easier. So just know you're learning the hard way so that you can do it anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to first make sure I'm on the layer that I wanna change. So let's say I wanna change this oops the color of these here so let's say i want these to be a green color instead of being a pinkish color okay so i'm going to toggle recolor on by tapping my quick menu tapping recolor what might happen to you it did grab mine but what might happen to you is that other things fill maybe the whole canvas fills it just depends on how your layer hierarchy is set up the whole idea is that this little crosshair is hovering on what we want the recolor to go on to. If it's not working even when it's on top of that, just make sure that you actually have the correct layer selected in your layers panel, okay? So I can, because there's so much texture going on right here, as I move this, you can see it's grabbing a lot and it's changing everything. And that's because all of the texture was on one individual layer. So everything, all the hues are changing together. It just depends on where it's hovered. Now, if this is not happening for you, let's say it's only grabbing a few pixels. You know, it's only grabbing a few. It's not giving the, no matter where you put it, it's just not quite working. The reason why is because of the flood here. So when I increase the flood all the way up, it's going to grab everything on that layer. It's going to work a lot cleaner. I mean, there are some that it might skip, but overall it's going to grab everything. Whereas if it's down low, it won't. So that's the difference here. Now, maybe I don't want it to be so vibrant. I don't want this color anymore. I don't have to go in and choose the color first. The live recolor is where I can go into the color panel and I can actually change the color in live time. I can see the different saturation. I can see if I want to um, change the value. I can change all of this. I can go into my palettes. I can change the colors here. Let's say I wanna do orange and I don't like the way that's showing up. Well, I'm still in live recolor. So then I can shift that over and see, all right, well, if it grabs a different pixel, like I really liked what just came up. So I can go in and be as nitpicky, there we go, that I really like. And so that's the great thing about recolor. It is, you're doing everything in live time. You know, if I had dragged and dropped the color over and over and I'm like, oh, I just wanna go back to the beginning. Well, I don't have to undo a whole bunch. I just have to deselect this adjustment right here. The recolor is now off and I can just tap it once or there we go <laughs> and get back to what I had initially had. Okay, so that's recolor in a nutshell. It is going to be so very helpful. Don't forget I have a huge free download for you. I wanna invite you over to take my free Procreate class, which also includes a ton of bonus downloads, including my custom go-to Procreate brushes that I use in my own digital work. 
and several full cheat sheet guides that are just going to make your workflow so much faster. Just so much easier. You're probably going to expand your color library because of it. So I'll see you guys on the internet. Thank <laughs> you.